Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But we're going into our Sunday school, and amen, we're going to ask her the good one if he would open us up in prayer and then lead us further in Sunday school. Say God bless. God bless. Tell the good one. Standing all over. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. We thank you for this Father's Day, Lord. Yes, Lord. We ask that you bless all the fathers under the sound of my voice. Yes, Lord. Out in social media and within the sanctuary. Yes. We thank you so much for everything, Lord. Yes, we thank Lord. you for the travel and mercy thank that you've given you. us to make it here yes. safely. Yes, and we Lord. thank you in advance for the travel mercy yes, that you will give us on the way home. Now, Lord, I'm just asking you to bless this Sunday school lesson this morning. Yes. Bless the service later on this afternoon. Yes, Lord. Touch each of each of our, our speakers this morning, Lord. Yes, Touch Lord. us in a mighty way. Take yes. us out and put more of you in yes, Lord. so that everyone will be able to get something out of these messages. Mm -hmm. For all these things, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Well, happy Father's Day happy Father's to all the fathers Day. and everyone that's playing that role. Yes. Amen. You know, it's not easy being a dad, a real father. Amen. It's, it's, it's really not easy sometimes, but you know, with the help of the Lord, we we good. You know, yes. Uh -huh. We make it. So um, today um, for Sunday school. Uh, the Lord gave me Ecclesiastes uh -huh. chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. I don't know why he put this well. Right. We had a couple of deaths, a uh, close family friend, lived right, grew up right down the street from me. He was about 10 years younger than me. He just passed um, last Friday. And then there's another middle old brother. And uh, that passed a week or so before that. Uh -huh. I mean, it's like we're in, wow, yeah. in a time now yeah. when at an age where people are leaving. That's right. mm -hmm. And um, it brings to mind this, this Sunday school lesson because uh, the Bible says, Chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. And when you have that, say amen. Amen. The Bible says, to everything, there is a season. Yes. And a time to every purpose or happening under the heaven. A time to be born. We got children being born every minute yes. all over the world. Time to be born. It's yeah. time for them to be born. Uh -huh. And then there's a time to die. Yeah. Yeah, People dying every minute, every yeah. second all over the world. Uh -huh. I'm going to come back to that uh -huh. a little later. Uh -huh. Just a sec. Um, a time to plant. Mm -hmm. Now, my, uh, my sister and one of my brothers, they have the most beautiful gardens. They've been uh -huh. planting all spring and now... You know, uh, they, they, the gardens are just great. They have everything from bell peppers to strawberries. Uh -huh, so okay. it's a time to plant, you know, and then it's a time to pluck up that which has been planted. Uh -huh. um, now, you know, they, the, the sister, come get some of these cherries off the tree. My brother Larry, come get some of these cherries <laughs> off the tree. I mean, they have cherries at the church where uh -huh. I am. And, uh, you know, it's time to pluck. Yeah. And these cherries are good. All of them are good. All right. right. So it's a time to plant and a time to pluck that which has been planted. Mm -hmm. That's harvest. That's what you call harvest. Yeah. So you can plant a financial seed, you know, and then when it's time to har harvest, uh -huh. God will give you a financial blessing. Yeah, that's all right. That's why it's good to be a good steward. Pay your tithes and offer it or whatever. It's good to give. Yeah. It does. I don't know about you, but it does my heart good to give. All right. 
Givers give. That's what I, I yeah, say. Yeah. Uh, verse 3 says, it's a, it's a time to kill and a time to heal. Yeah. Now, yeah. we're not no murderers up in here or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, when there's a war, uh -huh. there were wars in the biblical days. Yeah. Big time wars, you know. I mean, the armies of three thousand men. I mean, massive, big time armies. And like I said once before, they didn't have no guns. That was hand to hand combat. Hand to hand, they had knives, sticks, clubs, swords. They had shields to try to protect themselves. But it was a time to kill when it was time. The God sent. All the Israelites in to these ites, to these ite lands, Ammonites, and uh, you know, all these different lands to conquer. Yeah. You know, the Israelites would complain, said, Oh, we know we're much mightier than us, but you know, God said, With me, you can do anything, yeah, you can accomplish anything. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you the tools, and you may be have less, uh, a, a smaller amount of men, but. I'm going to make you mighty. All right. All right. Time to kill. Yeah. And a time to heal. Mm -hmm. I can remember my uh, my dog when we was growing up. King. Was, he was the smartest dog. He was smarter <laughs> than last year. Yeah, that dog. Yeah, he was. My, our dog was smarter than last year. Right. That dog was so <laughs> smart. Oh, my God. He had to be Boy, that was a good dog. And we would talk. We talk about that dog all the time. We, that dog, the pound would get him, and he would escape from the pound and come all the way home from railway city. King would be all over these pounds. So King was a player too. So. King, he was the baddest dog on the block. So he would always get the, the girl dog. You know, no matter how small it was, you know, King would. Oh, God forgive me. I'm going to keep it clean, but the kids right. was something else. But we had a lot of family dogs on that street. And um, what would happen was they would fight. You know, they would yeah, like, try yeah, to yeah, show yeah. each other. Show, uh, hey, good morning. To show each other who's the baddest. You know, King was bad. King was a bad dog. But he would get into some good fights. I named the dogs Tracy, Tiger. And there's Dino right across the street, and another tiger down the street, okay. and then dynamite around the corner. Dynamite. Oh my God, dynamite was, that was a bad dog too. So what would happen was they would fight, you know, and then King, you know, he would he would he would, he would win most of them, you know, but he would come home scarred up. He would come home and he would have to lay around for three or four days to lick his wounds. All right. Yeah. Okay. He licked his wounds, and then after he, uh, if he stopped feeling better, he was up and hopping around again. Mm -hmm. This dog could tell King go in the backyard. He would go open the gate himself with his paw. <laughs> he was, a, he was, a, he, he was a, a, the greatest dog in the world. But he had to heal. Sometimes we have to heal. You know, we have wounds. You know, I work on my cars and my trucks, and sometimes I scrape my knuckles. Now you have to heal. Yeah. Sometimes you hurt uh, mentally and you have to heal. Yeah. It's a time to heal. Mm -hmm. Okay, a time to break down and a time to build up. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, you know, God will break you down. You know, you have to humble. You should have to, you should humble yourself. Yeah. You don't want God to humble you yeah. because he'll break you down real hard. You know, he'll Please, God, take your hand off. Is what you be hollering next, you know. Yeah, you don't yeah. humble yourself, see. Right. And then there's a time to build up. Mm -hmm. You know, we were blessed uh, over last weekend. First Lady Williams and I, we got built up. We got uh -huh. boosted. You know, we, we got elevated. Uh -huh. Our uh, duties are elevated. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's like we're out there and we're telling you. It comes with the territory, you know. That's right. Mm -hmm. I tell you. So, you know, it's a time we put that build, or they built us up uh -huh. to be more, you know, to, to edify the church. Right. 
to be a blessing to the church and to the ministry or whatever yeah. in God's uh, entire coaching, Church of God in Christ. Yeah. A time to weep yeah. and a time to laugh. I mean, there's a the time to weep. You know, weeping may endure for a night. You might be having some problems, family, personal, financial. You know, when you just may be at home for asking God for help and deliverance, and you may weep. You may weep, you know, crying out to the Lord, yeah. help, Lord. Sometimes that's all you can do is say, Jesus, you know, help, Jesus. But you weep. Weeping may endure for a night, but the Bible says joy will come in the morning. I mean, it could be a long, long night now. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean it's like 24 hours. It could be a long night. You could be weeping for a week at a time or a month even. You know, maybe even longer than that. But the Bible says that all things work together for the good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So just know that you're gonna uh, you're gonna laugh. You know, I, I see a lot of little funny uh, I'm a, 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 a guy I watch documentaries and funny stuff, you know. I like to laugh. I'll I be cracking up, huh? This is one funny video I seen on YouTube. Who's this brother? He's in the in the uh, South, right? He's a it was a newscaster, right? He's doing a story out there in the South, and he started off off all articulate. Oh yes, it's gonna be a, a, a nice day today in cow country, and this is, and then the blood flew in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs>
it's, it's a good thing, you know. Uh, yeah. It's a time, you know, you cast away stones if you're trying to uh, modify something, you know, in order to put a walkway in the yard or whatever. Uh, you got to uh, clear the pathway. First, you got to clear the glass, grass, mm -hmm. roll it till the grass, and then mm -hmm. excavate it. Make yeah. it nice and flat. Mm -hmm. And then you got to pull out stones and pull them to the side, get it all flat. Yeah. And then you can pull concrete after you frame it up and all, you know, yeah. but you got to cast away those stones yeah. in order to do so. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Now, you know, you could go up to, uh, you see somebody, it's, a, what you, it's not what you do, it's how you do it and when you do it, too. So, um, it's like, you can go up, you can see somebody you haven't seen, or, you know, we always greet each other with a hug and a handshake and a smile or whatever. But I can, I'm going to tell you this story. About um, I went to this uh, to this mega church, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's one main preacher, right? And all the other elders or whatever they didn't get much activity, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't get too much activity. So this one main preacher, he was up and he was yeah, under the anointing and uh -huh. preaching, and his shoe was untied. So do you know one of these elders walked up and tried to tie his shoe while oh, he was no. preaching? Oh, no. I, I, I said, are you kidding? Really? Oh, no. Seriously? You, uh -huh. you know, you, you, that inactive that you have to, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, really? Oh, man, it's, time, it's, it's a time to be praying for that's an embracement. But he did it at the wrong time. If anything, he should have done it before he got up and started speaking. Or well, told the pastor, hey, if your shoe was untied, you know. It's a time and a season for everything. And that was the wrong time to do that. It looked so weird, you know. And yeah, and the, 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 the preacher rebuked him right there on the spot. What are you doing? Really? Everybody rebuked him on the spot. Like, what are you doing? Really? Are you serious? Okay, so um, the time to get and the time to lose. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like I said, if you're a good steward, mm -hmm. and you uh, will end up getting some of the desires of your heart. Uh -huh. He ain't going to give you all the desires of, his heart, of your heart because um, he's not Santa Claus. <laughs> But, you know, you will get, you know, it's a time, it's, it's, it's wow. It's like um, you can go in a store and you are looking for something in particular <clears throat> and you're hoping and praying that you can find it at a reasonable price. Mm -hmm. I've been in situations like that this past, or over this past month, where I went in looking for something and found it at a severe discount. It's a time to get, you know, God blesses. He, yeah, that's a blessing. That's what you call favor. Yeah. You know, you get you get things when you, when you got favor, the favor of God. Favor ain't fair. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people will look at you and say, well, how did you do all and get all and do all of that, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you got, to, um, you got to go through some things to get some things, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I, I. I, I'm not, you know, I, I tell you, I got a few things now, but I, I suffer a lot out there to get, get the stuff that I have. <laughs> I, you know, you might look at me and say, hey, you know, this is the end result, but no, uh -uh, we had to go through some things to get some things, you know. I'm not greedy, you know, I don't want everything or whatever, but it's a time to get and a time to lose. Sometimes you might lose your keys. Uh, sometimes you might lose your wallet. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might lose some money or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, I walked out and found money on the ground. That's yeah. time to get. <laughs> and then sometimes you might lose yeah. ten or five or ten. You know, I'll be <laughs> upset if I lose a dollar. <laughs> I'll be upset. It's a time to lose. You know, yeah. so, a time to keep and a time to cast away. Yeah. Now here in the peace, you know, Church of God in Christ, we go out and we uh, 
We uh, give to the homeless and addicted. Addicted. We, uh, you know, it's a time to keep some of those clothes, and it's a time to give them away. Yeah. A time to rend, and a time to sow. Sometimes to rend is when you rip something up or whatever. A sow is when you mend it. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Now, sometimes, you know, you, your silence is your best response. Whether you know it or not, you know, you don't have to respond to everything, especially if it's negative. And sometimes you just have, have to find yourself speaking up, you know, in defense or whatever, you know, but sometimes silence is golden. So it's a time to keep silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate. I, I, you know, I, 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 I don't, I try not to hate mm -hmm. nobody because I don't know. I just say I dislike something or someone or whatever, but I, I try to spread love. You know, that's a good thing for everybody to try to spread love, you know. Over hate, Amen. a time of war and a time of peace. You got war over in Ukraine right now. Yeah. It's Russia over there trying to just, oh man, they just trying to liquidate. They're trying to kill everything moving over there. Yeah. So, but we uh, in the United States are pretty much at a time of peace right now. Well, you know, we dipping and dabbling in everybody else's business, but. I'm going to take you back over to uh, the mention of a time to be born and a time to die. If you would go over to uh, Psalms chapter 39 and verse 4. There, the Bible says, Lord, make me to know my end. In the measure of my days, what it is that I may know how frail I am. Now, see, everybody would like to have a heads up on when they might die. But God is going to come like a thief in the night. There ain't going to be no heads up. Even if you did have a heads up, you still wouldn't be able to accomplish anything that you would try to squeeze in. I want to go to Peru. I want to go to Bolivia. I want to do everything. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to win surf. You know, you, you still ain't going to have You keep adding stuff on mm -hmm. to uh, that punchline or whatever to the end. Make me to know my end and the measure of my days. You never know when God is going to come and take you up out of here. Like I said, we had a couple of brothers, one, one brother of my age. And another one, like 10 years younger than me, you know, it's like, come on. That was a shocker. Yeah. So we just asked God to pray for the Russian family and the Jason family okay. at this time. Okay. Because they are hurting uh -huh. from unexpected deaths. Mm -hmm. Make me to know my end and the measure of my days. Mm. What it is that I may know how frail I am. Can we all say amen? Amen. amen. Praise the Lord.